Investor's Business Daily. When top-line readers want a fast, no-nonsense, high-content source of immediate information that can be read cover to cover in the time it takes to commute to work, Investor's Business Daily, the ideal advertising vehicle to reach top management, the people with the greatest buying and decision-influencing power. Investor's Business Daily is a national daily business newspaper. But what makes it different from other publications of its kind is that it is targeted for the upper echelon of workers, executives, professionals, entrepreneurs, business owners. I have the opportunity today to run a worldwide business. I always look at uh, those articles that really talk about a particular company's strategy and why it's performing the way it's performing. A wide range of people could find very compelling information in the publication on a daily basis. This is a special audience. These people need concise news on business and government. I think the encapsulation of the news in Investor's Business Daily is excellent. It gives me a lot of information fast. I treat the uh, Investor's Business Daily more as a handbook. You know, what, what should I know so that I sound reasonably intelligent when I'm meeting executives from the networks? They need financial data that is accurate, complete, timely. Being in Silicon Valley, there's people always trying to take our business and to be competitive means to have relevant and, and very timely information. And I see that that's what Investors Business Daily gives me. They need focused analysis, focused on companies that are likely to succeed and the companies that might fail. It's interesting. It gives a, a business focus as well as a political focus. All our page one stories finish on the second page. That means we save the reader the trouble of having to flip around trying to find the end of a story. I think it's really designed with the reader in mind. All the front page I find extraordinarily well organized for me to save my time in reading to direct me as to the articles of most urgent interest that day, that moment when I pick it up. The top of the page is the national issue. The key article that attracts my attention is the article that appears in the upper right hand corner. The second column is leaders and success. This will take an individual. Frequently there are people in business, but we take politicians, people in sports, even artists, look at their life, look at what unique aspect of their character is what got them ahead. Investors Business Daily is very helpful to a reader like me. They have profiles on the people who make business happen, such as John Teats of Dial Corporation. So it covers more than just what's happened in the financial markets. It puts it in context, and I always find something in there worthwhile looking at or reading each day. Then we come to news for you. This helps an executive with things like how to write a better business report, how to improve your memory. News for you is uh, important information, whether you're a business executive or travel a lot like I do, and gives you those tidbits of truth and information that are so important to making our lives and our travel a little bit easier. The New America. Every day we feature four new small companies that have the newest product or the newest innovation that promise to be very hot in their sector. The New America, for example, talks about the trends and the business opportunities in the future, the direction of the uh, growth of the industries of the country. This is important. One should read the New America section to get a, at least a periscope on what's emerging on the horizon in terms of new companies. The second section starts with something called the economy. Here we take the economic news of the nation, of the world, round it up in one place so you can get through the most important things quickly, bring it to life, make it interesting, and most important, make it understandable. Ours is a global business, so this gives me a good perspective not only of the U.S., but also the global economy. All, anything having to do with the economy and the confidence level, the uh, employment levels and the leading economic indicators. Those are the things that I follow very carefully. Uh, I'm interested in the page one, page two articles uh, dealing with the general economy uh, because they are very well documented. Well, we sort of look at our job as, uh, as that of helping people and to be more specific, helping people manage, uh, manage their businesses, manage their careers, manage their investments, and manage their lives. Investors Business Daily will have good stories on health care. They've been on the forefront of the health care debate. They've had stories on everything from quotas to the size of congressional staffs. I agree with Steve Forbes. I think Investors Business Daily is uh, the entrepreneurial sector of our economy. And it's uh, reporting, uh, it's editorials, and its ability to bring 
hard uh, reality and uh, cold facts and necessary information to the marketplace, there's an astounding need for it in America today. I think the reason that Investors Business Daily notices companies before other papers do is that we focus much more on companies and individuals who are leaders in their area. There are going to be a number of new companies five, ten years from now that we're not familiar with today. It's not just reporting what's thrown into your face, it's doing a little bit of digging. They used to call it legwork, but uh, going beneath the surface of things is the essence of a good publication. Investor Business Daily reads better than I think because it obviously knows more than I know, because it has the time and the talent that it can dig into uh, issues and get uh, meaningful information. As a very busy CFO, uh, I, I need to rely upon few good sources to keep me well informed of what's happening in the business world on a day-to-day -day basis. Investors Business Daily has been accomplishing that for me. Investors Business Daily uh, covers the telecommunications industry uh, very thoroughly. In fact, I think probably uh, as thoroughly as any business publication. First thing that I did was to make it required reading for our managers each day. I actually come in Saturday mornings to pick up my paper that's delivered here. I get a lot of information about the computer business in Investors Business Daily for the fact that uh, I, I can read the computer and, uh, and automation portion. I see things in that that I not, don't normally catch in the trade magazine. According to the latest Monroe Mendelssohn study, IBD consistently scores at the top of all business publications in median household income and in median net worth. IBD's median age is 45. IBD readers are aiming for results. They're aiming for achievement. When I look at spending my time with business publications, there's a few that come to mind. A couple of venture capital slash technology magazine and Investors Business Daily. And most of us, my friends in the, in the business for themselves, work 20-hour days. And as much as we can cram into that, and as much information as we can get quickly is important to us. And so that's why I like to read that kind of industry. General Motors, American Express, IBM, American Airlines, Intercontinental Hotels, more and more advertisers are realizing that they need Investors Business Daily to complete their media buy. In terms of cost, IBD offers the lowest CPM for top management of any business publication. This newspaper is, is almost like a magazine because there's so much valuable data and you can't find somewhere else, people save it. Uh, the average paper is saved 13 and a half days, so IBD is like a daily, but it has the shelf life of a month. We are over 200,000 circulation. Our audience is almost half a million in Monroe Mendelssohn. We must be doing something right. I became a subscriber to the uh, investors Business Daily to look at the numbers and uh, I stayed because of the stories. Well originally I came for the numbers and now I stay for the stories as well as take full advantage of the numbers. I came for the numbers and I stayed for the stories. This is the most exciting age in the history of the world. It's 1776 only this time for the whole world. And then Investors Business Daily puts you right at the center of the most exciting age in mankind's history.